morning, February 28th. My expectation is from him. Psalm 62, 5. It is the believer's privilege to use this language. If he is looking for aught from the world, it is a poor expectation indeed. But if he looks to God for the supply of his wants, whether in temporal or spiritual blessings, his expectation will not be a vain one. Constantly he may draw from the bank of faith, and get his needs supplied out of the riches of God's loving kindness. This I know, I had rather have God for my banker than all the wrath's childs. My Lord never fails to honor his promises, and when we bring them to his throne, he never sends them back unanswered. Therefore I will wait only at his door, for he ever opens it with the hand of munificent grace. At this hour I will try him anew. But we have expectations beyond this life. We shall die soon, and then our expectation is from him. Do we not expect that when we lie upon the bed of sickness he will send angels to carry us to his bosom? We believe that when the pulse is faint, and the heart heaves heavily, some angelic messenger shall stand and look with loving eyes upon us, and whisper, Sister Spirit, come away. As we approach the heavenly gate, we expect to hear the welcome invitation, Come, ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. We are expecting harps of gold and crowns of glory, we are hoping soon to be amongst the multitude of shining ones before the throne. We are looking forward and longing for the time when we shall be like our glorious Lord, for we shall see him as he is. Then if these be thine expectations, O oh my soul, live for God, live with the desire and resolve to glorify him from whom cometh all thy supplies, and of whose grace in thy election, redemption, and calling, it is that thou hast any expectation of coming glory.